Were you denied housing because you came from another country or because you do not speak English? Did you attempt to obtain a loan from the bank to purchase a home and were told we don't make home loans in that particular community? Has your landlord made unit repairs for some tenants but not others based on their race, color, or national origin? Did your landlord make you pay more money or refuse to rent to you because you have a large family or because you are a student? Did a property manager refuse to rent to you because you use a wheelchair? Did your landlord refuse to rent to you because you have a Section 8 voucher? Have you been denied housing because of your sexual orientation? Question. What is fair housing? Fair housing is treating everyone equally, regardless of their membership in a protected group, such as their race, sex, disability, familial status, to name a few. Forty years ago, Congress passed the Fair Housing Act of 1968 a landmark legislation for the civil rights movement. Forty years later, we continue to face many problems of housing discrimination, particularly in those communities affected by other social and economic problems. Here in the district, in addition to abiding federal law, we have strong policies to fight discrimination in housing. The DC Office of Human Rights and the DC Commission on Human Rights are two entities mandated to enforce those policies. We sincerely hope that this video helps you understand a little bit more scenarios of housing discrimination. And remember, if you feel you are subject to discriminatory behavior in your own home, we are here to serve you. Make sure you contact the DC Office of Human Rights. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I saw your advertisement across the street for a condo for sale. Yes, we definitely have a condo for sale. Let me get you to fill out this guest card. Sure. It's a beautiful unit. Perhaps you can take a look at it today and give the board president a call. You are. Thank you. Hmm, how do you pronounce your name? Afia Muhammad. Is that a Muslim name? Oh, well, yes, it is. Why do you ask? Well, to be quite honest, we don't have any Muslims in this condo, and there are no mosques in this area. Mm. Actually, I forgot. There was a contract put on this condo last week. The board was impressed with the couple, and most likely their application will be approved. Are you sure you want to apply? Well, if you think I have a good chance of getting in. I think you should wait till next week. Give us a call back to see if the contract was approved. Because quite honestly, Ms. Ahmed, I don't want you to... And Muhammad. I'm sorry. Um, Ms. Muhammad, I don't want you to waste your time. If you want to submit your application, here's our checklist. Just be sure to submit your U.S. passport and your voter registration card. Okay. It sent a red flag when all of a sudden the agent stated there was a contract on the property once she heard the customer was Muslim. It doesn't matter what the person's religion is or what their name may be associated with. What matters is the person qualifies to rent the apartment and meets the landlord's application criteria. Religion should never be a factor for the landlord to decide whether or not to sell the property to you. In this scenario, you would be able to file a complaint based on OHR's protected category, religion. Hello, my name is Veronica, and I'm here because I saw your advertisement for the two-bedroom apartments. Well, welcome. My name is Tara, and I'm actually the leasing manager. Um, we have a few two-bedroom apartments available. Um, do you have any children? I do. I have a seven-year-old son. Okay. Um, well, what I'll do is I'll actually show you the unit we have coming available on the first floor. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I believe you said you had a few coming open. Could I see all of them? We do. However, we only rent units on the first floor to families with children. And why is that? 
Because t- children tend to make a lot of noise and they disturb people on the floors below them. Okay, well that will not be a problem. My child is very well behaved. Uh, I'm sure she or he is, but uh, that's just our policy. Okay, well I have a son again, and uh, mm-hmm. could you tell me a little bit about the amenities here? <sighs> Um, excuse me for a second. Um, we actually, uh, each unit comes standard with uh, wall-to-wall carpeting. Uh, we have newly refurnished kitchens, and there's a laundry facility in the basement. Okay, a pool. I believe I saw an advertisement about pool. We do have a pool, but that wouldn't apply to you. Um, at this point, we've restricted children from using our pool because they splash a lot and make a lot of noise and disturb the other residents. Wow, okay. Well, thank you for your time, but I do not think this is going to be the right place for me and my family. Mm, I totally agree, but uh, thank you, and good luck with your search. Thanks. The landlord should not steer you to live on a first floor level just because you have children. You have the right to live in any available unit that you qualify for. The landlord cannot limit your selections of units or limit your use of facility services provided to all tenants because you have children. In this scenario, you would be able to file a complaint based on OHR's protected category, familial status. Good afternoon, Parkside Apartments. Mr. Belmont speaking on my system. Hi, yes, Mr. Belmont. Is Mr. Gomez from apartment 111? Uh, yes, it is. All right, look, I have an issue with you people keep calling here asking for repairs to your apartment. We have explained to you that we don't do business like that. What's the problem now? Well, the problem is that I reported a broken sink and garbage disposal over five weeks ago and nothing's been done about it. And coincidentally, my neighbor who reported the same issue got hers fixed right away. And I'm kind of wondering why there's some differential treatment here for what seems to be like individuals who aren't Hispanic who are getting repairs fixed immediately. Look, you'll get your things fixed when we can do it. Don't call us again or be forced to evict you. You can't do that. Oh, we can't? Watch me. Keep causing problems and see what will happen. Okay, look, I don't want to cause any more problems. I just want to get my sink fixed. Could you please just let me know when you'll be able to come up and do it? When we get to it. Oh! Hey, Mr. Belmont, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, Ms. Vicky? All right, um, my garbage is broke this morning. You think you can come by and fix it? Sure, no problem. I'm gonna get my tools and we can get on it right away. Great, thank you so much. The landlord must be fair about providing maintenance service to all tenants, regardless of race or national origin. The landlord cannot justify fixing a white tenant's toilet in just a matter of days, while the Hispanic tenant has to wait five weeks. The landlord should provide maintenance service in a timely manner to all tenants unless there is a legitimate business reason or justified circumstance. In this scenario, you would be able to file a complaint based on OHR's protected category, national origin. Property covered under the Fair Housing Act. All residential dwellings, including apartments, single family homes, condominiums, cooperatives, mobile homes, nursing homes, senior care facilities, group homes, shelters, residential hotels. Please remember that there are some exceptions to these properties. I came to the Office of Human Rights about a year ago when I had problems with my condo management office. They, they refused to make reasonable accommodations for my handicap. I had a stroke and was confined to a wheelchair at the time. I needed accommodations and they refused to make them. The Office of Human Rights came through for me and got my accommodations for me and got the board, got the management board to act reasonably. 
from a first phone call, the receptionists, the staff, the investigators, the attorneys, and the mediators were fabulous. They treated me terrifically, helped me with my issues, and made me feel good. The Office of Human Rights was invaluable to me and I could not have made it through without them, their help and their assistance. Anyone who has been harmed by housing discrimination in the District of Columbia may file a complaint online at www.ohr.dc.gov, in person at 441 4th Street, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20001, or by requesting an intake questionnaire form to be mailed to them.